Let's make welcome MC Mitty. Let's celebrate him as he comes forth. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. I want to celebrate our father in the house. I want to thank God for all the senior pastors. If you know you're a champion, put your hands together for yourself. Is that how champions put? Clap for yourself. Listen, champions are courageous people. Champions are not weaklings. I remember one time we traveled. You know, we went to one country like that. And they were trying to intimidate the blacks, especially the Nigerians. And immediately we came down from the plane, they said, a plane that carried 300 people, 150 of us were all blacks. They said, all the blacks come this way. Which country are you from? South Africa, go inside. Which country are you from? Ghana, go inside. They were just trying to intimidate Nigerians. And we had one champion in that plane. Champions are courageous people. So when he came to his stone, he discovered that anybody that said Nigeria, they said, stand this stand side, stand this side. When he came to his stone, they said, which country are you from? He said, I'm from Tanzania. And the guy had this Yoruba mark. People say, we know this tribal mark. You are from Tanzania. I'm from Tanzania. Okay, sing the Tanzanian national anthem. See, Bible says be strong and courageous. The guy stood with courage as a champion. Hey, where, where, whoa. Hey, where, where. They say, it's okay, it's okay. You know it's go inside. Listen, sometimes the devil you are afraid of is afraid of you. Tell your neighbor, the devil you are afraid of is afraid of you. You just need to be courageous. Just be courageous. That's why champions are like rich men. Rich men are very courageous. Have you seen the rich man go to the ATM? Very courageous. No time to waste. Just go to the ATM. Simple thing. They press their pin. Very simple. The machine will start counting money. Suffering. Sometimes the machine will be tired. It will cough. Sorry, sir. But have you seen a, a, a poor man? A poor man go to the ATM. They'll be asking useless questions. He they pay? He they pay? No, you know they pay. We can't line up. Then when he gets to their tongue, they will cover the whole machine like eczema. Then they press one long pin like phone number. Immediately they press enter. The money is at 2-5. Somebody say I reject poverty. Say I reject poverty. You know Paul, talk, Paul, Paul speaking to the Corinthians in Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 8 and 9, uh, 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 chapter 2, verse 8. He, uh, he told them, he said, You know the grace of our God that he was rich yet he became poor. That we may listen, that poor doesn't mean that Jesus was begging for food. Our Jesus wasn't begging for food. Let me explain how rich he was. He was so rich that when he was entering Jerusalem, he entered with a brand new court. Brand new one. He told them, He said, Go to the city in Luke. He told them, Go to Luke 19, verse 30. You will find, you will find a brand new one. Nobody has used it. Bring it to me. That told me that if Jesus is in our days, now private jet is going to use. Because he was not rich. Brand new one. See, Jesus was not using second hand. You are some, there are some people that are so, you, you are, you are so confident in using second hand. Do you know there's a difference between car and motor? When you enter a car, you start it. That's how it start. But a motor, you start it, it will be laughing at you. <laughs> My God! Somebody say, I reject poverty. Wait for it, wait for it, wait from your head, wait from your head, wait from your head. Throw it away, throw it away. Do you know that sometimes the motor will even hiss? <laughs> God. Poverty is a disease. Don't ever celebrate poverty. Let me see, go back and explain to you how rich our Jesus is. How rich he was. The Bible said that he told Peter, when they came to ask Peter, does your master pay tax? In Matthew chapter 17, from verse 24 to 20, uh, 27. Does your master pay tax? They asked Peter outside. Peter was not inside the house. They asked him outside. They did not ask Jesus so. They were asking for Peter. Does your master pay tax? Peter went inside to meet the master. The master was the one that approached Peter. What are they saying outside? Say they're asking for tax. Say, eh, who pays tax? The children 
or the outsider. He said the outsider. He said, so we are free. But so that we don't cause confusion, go and catch fish. My God. See that money you are looking for in 2020? Jesus knows where it is. So. He knows the fish that is carrying your money and he will send you there. You will see that money. He said to Peter, go to the river. Any fish you catch, just bring it. Open it. The money inside will be enough for me and you. They were asking for only Jesus, Jesus tax. But he said, pay for two, pay for two. Maladaba, Shatter. God will give you enough. God will give you more than enough. Our God has enough. Very rich. Did you, did you see when he went to baptism? There were only two kinds of shoes in the Bible. Only two kinds of shoe. When Jesus went to baptism, did you see the shoe he wore? You've not read it. In Luke chapter, Luke chapter 3 verse 16. The shoe that Jesus wore, just the, way, the type of shoe our, our daddy wears. Italian shoe. When John the Baptist saw the shoe, he said, my God. Now this guy should wear come baptism. The sole of his shoe, I cannot remove it. That's an equality shoe. Oh, somebody celebrate Jesus. But, but wait, but wait, let me now. The, but have you read in uh, Exodus chapter 3? The kind of shoe that Moses wore to the best of God. Oh, Jesus. When God saw the shoe, this I swear to God's shoe. God said to Moses, my friend, do you know where you are? Will you go outside? How dare you wear this kind of shoe to my presence? Imakonyembo. Come on, share up one song. God will give you a quality shoe. My Jesus. I will say this when I leave. If you are in church, do something that is profitable. Don't just come to church and be sitting down. Everything that you do is a ministry. Even if you are cleaning the chair. It's a ministry. Clean that chair so that anybody that sits on it will receive power. Don't just clean chair anyhow. Peter was outside. He was humiliated. Acts of money. But when he came inside, Jesus gave him more than enough. You may be outside. Jesus is calling you to come inside. If you are outside, people will insult you. If you are outside living in sin, people will disturb you. People will ask you, where is your God? What are you doing outside? Come inside and meet with Jesus. Come inside and take Jesus into your life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is MC Mitty and I'm an ambassador of heaven. God bless you. Let's celebrate MC Mitty.